Hey, this is Notzer, and we're in the Tier 10 American Battleship Montana. We're on the map Land of Fire, and this is a full Montana division. I wanted to share this game because it highlights just how effective a focused division can be. And the game offered really difficult decisions. Like right at the start, we started purely neutral. We could go to the western side of the map or the eastern side of the map. Now, as a division, we chose to go to the west because we preferred that play. It's a little bit more wide open. There's a little bit more islands for battleship protection. Whereas on the eastern side of the map, there's a lot of shallow islands that don't really conceal a battleship, but they definitely get in the way of a battleship's ability to engage smaller targets like a DD or to maneuver. So hopefully when we can operate out in the open, Maybe we can get some flanking shots on the enemy that is inevitably going to go for the eastern side of the map because it, it always gets bogged down, right? You always get into this back and forth between the two sides when it's just like, ah, I, I, I guess this will work. But if you are making the choice that we have ended up making, we need to make a play. We need to help the team. And the best way to help the team is to capture the objective, wipe out any ships that we see, and hopefully we will be set up for success on the flank of the enemy who is hopefully going to be bogged down over by the east. No, obviously we can't control that. All we can do is control our division. And our division is absolutely primed and ready to take A. We've got great concealment. There's an enemy battleship, the Grosakua first, who happens to be in the worst position possible. I'm sure he had no read on this, but running into three Montanas, and you have a little rock on the other side of your ship in the form of an island, you can't, you can't escape. You have to go through this gap, and you have to take all the damage. And we're definitely on comm saying focus fire. And I think, honestly, a division should not be as effective as it is, but I don't know that there's enough people that are willing to listen to their teammates. Words of wisdom, focus fire, whatever you may call it. It just feels like people are stuck in their ways. They read or believe that there's only one way to accomplish anything. And they'll completely ignore all of the windows that are available to exploit. And this is a huge window. We got the guy down to 50% you know, life. He's clearly going to retreat. The enemy DD that was even farther west is defeated by the friendlies and they did a great job. And there's an enemy Des Moines on the other side of the island. So I choose to use my scout aircraft in an effort to not only scout the Grosakua first because he, he is, he's seen from space, he's giant. The aircraft is definitely going to detect him. But I also want to have an idea of where the Des Moines is. And every once in a while you'll catch sight of some shells landing in the island. Clearly he's trying to engage something, maybe me. But we're also going to focus on capturing the base because that's what a good team does. Too many times I see players who just refuse, absolutely refuse to take an objective. Could I, you know, decide, just sail right through, don't care? Yeah. But if I take 5, 10, 15 seconds and just capture the base, it's going to end up being the most convenient for my team. And that's more important than my personal success. Okay. If more players were more willing to give up 5, 10, 15, 20 seconds to do the best objective play, then maybe the team would have more success in general. You know, there's too many games where I see, like, nobody's captured and it's 10 minutes in, 12 minutes in, 15 minutes in. It's like, what, what are you guys doing? DD's going off, doing whatever they want. Because our DD was on the west, and because of the way the deployed enemies ended up being, there was a window for the battleships to actually capture the base. And I know that might blow everyone's mind, but it's not terrible to do something that isn't normally what your role is. But we're moving forward. Friendlies are trying to either force the Des Moines to stay stationary, retreat, or something so he doesn't have the island blocking line of sight. I decide I'm going to move forward. We know that the enemy Grosakua first is going to try and retreat, obviously, and it does look like he has turned into a more aggressive approach. And every, you notice I'm looking to the east. Des Moines is behind cover. Grosakua first is behind cover. 
There is something that is unspotted that is within my sphere of detection. This guy's totally going wiped out. It's a DD. There's clearly a DD that is out there. The one DD left on the enemy team, and I give that call, and sure enough, a friendly is fortunate enough to catch him out, and I'm trying to rotate my guns before the Chung Mu can go in a smoke. At least we know he's a smoke build. At least we know he's a smoke build. They haven't nerfed the smoke. So that means he could stay in smoke until the end of time. You know, the time in the game. But I'm moving forward, decide not to fire my gun. Remember, when you fire your gun, the bloom goes through the smoke and he can easily see it. So you have to choose when you do it. And I get just close enough to the Grosokua first that his hydroacoustic spots me out. Doesn't really matter though, he's in an awkward position. Those guns are just not really in a good position to exploit anything that I'm doing because I'm not giving him anything. And the Chung Mu, for whatever reason, the Chung Mu shows himself. So I'm going to fire my back guns and tell my teammates this is definitely friendly Montana into, into the division. He went on the western side of the island. I went on the east. We were not going to give him any safe escape. Plus, friendly spots out the enemy Chung Mu torpedoes. It's really good habit to call that out for your division mates. If it was easier to tell your team, then we would absolutely have that discussion too. This is clearly stuff that I would love Wargaming to add. Just simple little call outs to help out the team. But your division, you can basically do a call out. And I, I get a little bit too wide. I'm a little bit too aggressive in trying to rotate the back guns in. He gets a great you know, 20,000 salvo. Obviously, I shouldn't have done that, but the target's dead. At least we got that out of it. Enemy Alabama tries to get a good cheeky Citadel side shot. He doesn't get it. And I let out the last little bit of my guns. I'm going to hold my fire. Now, when I hold my fire, I'm hoping that I will be given some information. When my detectability blooms back down, I'm hoping that the enemy DD will be in some position that he is informing my team. And as this is all going on, my division mate that's just to my north says, I'm spotted. Now he hasn't fired and he has just as well the concealed battleship as I do. So that means that the Chung Mu has headed north and he's basically in his cap area. So I'm going to rotate around this very quickly. I'm going to have my guns set up. I'm going to use my aircraft, hopefully detect any battleship, maybe even a cruiser. I don't expect to see the Chung Mu, but I just want to see if there's anything close that would be spotted. And yep, here's a Chung Mu. Chung Mu chooses to use his smoke. And I need to be very careful, obviously. And oh my god, the Chung Mu. Huge mistake. Comes out of his smoke right in front of me. And we just devastate him with almost 10,000 in damage and everything over pens. So that same exact shot is going to be the exact same effective whenever they change the armor profile of DDs. But I should expect torpedoes. I'm ready for torpedoes. He had to have sent torpedoes. So I'm going to sail away. I communicate this to my teammates and yep, sure enough, here's one set. And I think the friendly Shimakaze spotted it out, and yeah, oh yeah. So we're going to take one on the booty. If you take a torpedo on the bow or stern, I think it's like a 100% chance that it's going to cause a flood. It causes a flood, it also knocks out our steering. I choose to use my damage control. That's when you need to use it. And we get a weird Citadel. That was a weird angle to Citadel, that enemy battleship. But I'm not complaining. I'm very happy about that. And I'm trying to rotate my front guns into position while also avoiding the island. I don't want to pull an answer. I would like to just kill this target because he's perfectly broad. And oh, I wish my guns were ready. First set gets ready. Second set is rotating into position. Friendly Shima is point blank torpedoes. And he is absolutely going to kill that guy. But we get a little bit of extra damage right before it goes. And it looks like a, a game where... The eastern flank fell, the enemy team was up a couple ships. We ended up doing exactly what we needed to do. We quickly controlled the objective and then we pushed together. Taking out that DD 
was really important. And that's one of the things that a division can do that a solo person cannot. A DD will probably never be caught by a battleship in a one versus one. But if you get one versus two, one versus three, you will find some angle that he just cannot stand up to. And someone's going to get a shot. And I just happened to be fortunate enough that the Chung Mu had no idea that I chose to go back around the island. I don't think I was ever spotted moving back into that position and we were able to wipe him out, right? Or contribute to wiping him out. So I love this game because pretty much everything that the division set out to do was successful for the team. We chose to go to the west. Now we could have gone to the east and bogged down with the enemy. Probably wouldn't have been as successful in my opinion. But we captured the west, wiped out enemy ships that happened to be in the area. And then we kept moving forward. We kept trying to be unpredictable with certain flanks being pushed hard and other flanks being paused for 5, 10, 15 seconds. And then we would push into another area where they didn't think. And obviously Chung Mu fell for that one. And we're going to finish off the enemy targets. And I, I just love it when a division comes together where they're actually working together. Sometimes I have a bad habit of not going with my teammates. You know, oh, we're a different ship. Every single type works pretty well together, even an aircraft carrier. Obviously, you don't want to focus following close behind, but aircraft carrier can spot for a teammate who is in a division and say, hey, I'm going to keep him spotted, just focus him down. If you have a DD, he can scout in front of you and potentially run into torpedoes or the enemy DD himself. Same with the cruiser. Cruiser can protect you. High DPM. The battleships want to get forward a little bit to take a little bit of that damage pressure off of the cruiser and allow him to just... Do what he does best, damage. And in this instance, we were three battleships. Everything was going to die very quickly under our focus. And that's what happened. So I really enjoyed this game. I hope you did as well. Obviously, the Montana is a real pleasure. I was, uh, I didn't know who asked it, but someone in the Q&A session asked, would you consider buffing the Montana? I don't think the Montana needs any buffs. I think she's just right. She's beautiful. Her 12 guns are fantastic. AA's off the charts. And I've had a lot of success in her. I hope you enjoyed this game. I hope you... Not, not a long game, obviously. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you next time.